Here we are in Sprouts, getting some yum-yums. Oh, lots of good options, lots of healthy pre-made options, right, right? This is a classic choice, the salad. Can't go wrong. I mean, unless there's glass in your salad, you know. So today is the first, I always feel like at the first of the month, it's the best time to start something new, whether it be a workout routine or a chat GPT inspired dietary plan. Uh, but yeah, I was bad today though. That being said, I went to Costco and I had a Costco hot dog and I had the Costco cheese pizza and a soda and I was a fat <laughs> but it was delicious. I loved it, man. I hope Costco never makes those items go away. They got rid of the combo pizza. That was, that was a bad move. I hope they bring that back. But I love the Costco food court. It's tremendous. It's one of the best parts of Costco. But that being said, I've been a fatty fatterson and it's time to uh, get it together. So today's the first of the month. It's the first of October as of the recording of this. Obviously you guys will be watching at a different date. But uh, yeah, I figured, you know, set yourself up for success. Start at the beginning of the month. And here we are. So I had my last hurrah with my Costco pizza and my Costco hot dog. And it was a good send off, but now it's time for some freaking Caesar salad. Caesar salad and Greek salad are my two favorite salads. Big fan. I know I'm really uh, really captivating you guys right now with my salad talk. I know the ladies are lining up right now to hear more of my salad stories. But uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. Pretty, pretty good stuff. And then also with this, I'm gonna make sure I kinda give myself some cheat meals so I don't lose my mind. So once I do five successful days of eating super clean and five workouts under my belt, then I'm allowed to have a cheat meal for the next 31 days. And uh, yeah, I'll also document the cheat meals so you can see uh, some, you know, some fun meals also, not just not just chicken Caesar salads. But anyway, this is day one. Like I said, I already kind of f***ed <laughs> it up by uh, eating at Costco, but it was so good. It was so good, man. But this is the official first chat GPT inspired meal of the month. So here we go. Let's do it. So obviously I got water for later when I go to the gym, electrolyte water, but I got a Zevia, zero sugar, zero calorie root beer. So yeah, why not? It seems fairly healthy. No sodium, no calories, no sugar. So I don't know what's in it. Root maybe. But yeah, it's decent. You know, not bad. Satisfies that uh, sweet tooth. So this video is sponsored by Zevia, everybody. So sometimes eating salad feels like a chore, you know? You get to a certain point where you're just like, ah, I gotta do this, you know? But you know what else is a chore? Lugging around 30 pounds of extra body fat. So I gotta pick one, you know? But sometimes it, salad's a bit of a chore. I'm just saying. All right, so here's the scale at the gym. Bring it back to zero. Now I am holding my phone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over here. Kind of see where I'm at. Shit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm stepping on. 213.2. Check it out. See it? Ah, oh, there we go. Now the weight's gonna go up because I'm holding the phone. 213.9. There we go. Now whose sick and twisted idea was this to put a McDonald's directly across from a gym? So I get done doing my workout, I'm feeling good, got a good sweat going, and then I look and I see this McDonald's. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to resist the temptation, but oh my god, it sounds really good right now. But I'm going to fight the temptation, I'm going to resist it. I'm going to make you guys proud, but oh man. Ronald McDonald is the devil right now, leading me into temptation. All right, so day two of chat GPT picking my meals. 
Uh, I'm super tired, honestly, <laughs> and I'm super lazy. So I went to Sprouts again, and uh, this Sprouts I've never been to, and they actually had a deli counter with pre-made stuff. So I told ChatGPT I was craving some shrimp, I was craving some turkey, and luckily they had all of that. So ChatGPT recommended shrimp, turkey with some couscous and spinach, and that's exactly what I got. It did recommend adding some olive oil, I did not do that. But anyway, $10 meal, looking pretty good. Shrimp, shit ton of couscous. And also I got some turkey. So all together, turkey bobbins, that uh, brings it up to about $15. And I got a poppy, eye poppy, uh, soda, grape soda, prebiotic soda, prebiotic, uh, 25 calories, uh, cane sugar, 10 milligrams of sodium. Not the worst, you know, satisfy that sweet tooth craving. But uh, yeah, man, uh, looks pretty good, looks pretty healthy. Now I know, you know, $15, yeah, you know, I guess a little expensive, but you know, you'd spend that, you know, going to McDonald's or going to Whataburger or whatever. And uh, yeah, I don't really mind because of the convenience factor right now, you know? So yeah, pretty, pretty good looking stuff. Uh, last night I did work out. So once I get five workouts and five clean days of eating under my belt, then I can do a fun cheat meal and vlog it for you guys. Uh, as far as today, I ate super clean. I stuck with trail mix, almonds, turkey and cheese like squares, a cliff bar, some tea, some water, an apple, you know, pretty, pretty clean and uh, just kind of grazed and snacked throughout the day. So not too bad. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited to try this. Looks super healthy. Looks super good. Shout out to Sprouts for being convenient. And uh, yeah, day two, a success. the most attractive euros, but they're my euros. Fire department action behind me. Looks like somebody passed out at the uh, Bull Shooters Billiard Sports and Bar. <laughs> uh, hope they're okay, definitely. Hope they're okay. But uh, yeah, I got some salad and go. I got the diarrhea salad. Just kidding. I got the uh, buffalo chicken salad with extra buffalo chicken from Salad and Go. But it does look a little diarrhea esque. I hope it tastes better than it looks, right? But uh, yeah, Salad and Go was the recommendation from ChatGPT today. I, I said uh, I'm in the 51st Avenue in Dunlap area. What's something healthy around me that I can get? It recommended Fresh Millions, which I'd never heard of before. And I looked it up and there was not actually a Fresh Millions anywhere near me in that area. Or in this area, I should say. So um, I looked it up, it was actually in Gilbert, Arizona. And I was like, yeah, I'm not driving all the way out to Gilbert. So the next recommendation it gave me was Salad and Go. And there is a salad and go right there. So I went and got the buffalo chicken diarrhea salad with extra protein. So uh, yeah, I got that and then I was bad and got a sugary drink. I got a lemonade, a spiced cranberry lemonade. But uh, yeah, I gotta have something, man. I gotta have something. But yeah, today was actually very difficult. Today I was like really feeling it, even though it's day four, you know, it's a little pathetic, but uh, I was like, dude, I want a burrito. I want Filiberto's, I want Taco Bell, I want something. I want a good hearty burrito. So I was getting a little hangry. I was like, man, this sucks. You know, I gotta, gotta eat clean another day, but it's okay, you know? Could be worse, right? There's people starving in other countries. There's people starving in this country probably, you know? So uh, I should shut up and appreciate my diarrhea salad while I got it, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, the past few days have been tough, man. Uh, today I had a lingering headache, and then yesterday and the day before, I felt like absolute crap. I just felt terrible. And I was, you know, nauseous and a little dizzy, and I just didn't feel good at all. And I was laughing because my buddy Evan and I always talk about how, like, whenever we start eating healthy, we start feeling like shit. <laughs> and that applies to this experiment, too. Um, you know, after a couple days of eating clean, I just started to feel terrible. I don't know if it's the body detoxing from all the junk that I was eating or what, but 
yeah, I haven't been feeling too good the past few days. Uh, I mean, it could be a cold or something, but I'm not really stuffy, you know? So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna keep going. Like I said, it is only day four. It'd be pathetic to give up now, right? Uh, but overall, you know, the past few days were difficult. They were difficult. It's definitely been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, I enjoyed the Greek pita that I made last night. That was pretty good. And then for lunch today, I had, I used the rest of the pitas and the tzatziki sauce and everything, and I used some leftover chicken in them. So I've, I've still been eating very clean on my on my lunches, so that's good. But uh, yeah, so here we are, salad and go. Uh, because I was feeling so crappy the past couple days, I did not work out yesterday or the day before. Uh, so I've only worked out one time so far this month. So after this, I'm gonna go take a walk and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So this will be workout number two for the month. And if I work out every day over the weekend, uh, I'll be able to do a good cheat meal vlog for you guys next week. So looking forward to that, looking forward to a nice cheat meal. But uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna enjoy my diarrhea buffalo chicken salad from Salad and Go. Shout out to Salad and Go. It's not bad doesn't look good but tastes good so I wonder if someone passed out or something over there anyway sorry <laughs> um so anyway it's going well you know it's starting to get a little more difficult in terms of like uh you know having having the self-restraint to not go and get fast food or anything like that but I think it's going well and luckily there are a lot of healthy options around so not too bad so thanks for watching guys i'm gonna go work out and i'll follow up with you tomorrow 212.3 212 212.3 212.5 212. so we'll say 212.4 <laughs> i swear to god every time i want to use the bathroom Right, so day five of chat GPT inspired meals. Uh, I went to Cafe Zupa's because it's super close to my work. And the first thing chat GPT told me to get was a steak and cheese sandwich and a Cobb salad. So they have the Cobb salad, but when I asked the girl behind the counter for a steak sandwich, she looked at me like I was crazy. and was like, what? We don't have a steak sandwich. They have a brisket sandwich, but no steak sandwich. So I said, okay, scratch that. I was looking at the protein bowls. They look super healthy. So I asked ChatGPT, I was like, what's a good protein bowl to get? And it recommended the Mediterranean protein bowl. So that's what I got. I added extra protein to it, extra chicken. I added some edamame and I got a hard boiled egg mixed into it. And I was naughty and I got a Sprite, a can of Sprite as well. Because I got to live a little, you know? So let me show you what I got. There it is, oh, muy delicioso. That is the Mediterranean protein bowl. Day five, almost complete. And I'll hit the gym after this. And there's the Sprite, oh, dangerous, I know, living on the edge. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good. A little expensive, about 18 bucks, but uh, like I said, convenience is a huge factor. But there we go, looks pretty good. Right, guys so today is day six of the chat gpt diet whatever plan i'm calling this um so i broke down and after my workout i went to sprouts and i got the healthy chat gpt meal but i gotta tell you man i bought some chocolate covered peanut clusters and they're freaking delicious but i bought like eight of them it's like a very small little <laughs> i can justify it okay i can justify it but they taste so freaking good, man. They're so freaking good. But let me tell you about today. So same deal as usual at work, ate super healthy, had a peanut butter and honey sandwich for lunch. 
I had an apple today. I had some uh, almonds and cashews and like some dried cranberries. Super fascinating stuff. Um, drank a lot of water today. It was very, very clean. I uh, had a breakfast burrito for breakfast with eggs, sausage, tortilla, a little bit of hot sauce. And uh, yeah, I would say overall ate very clean. So dinner time rolled around. And actually when I got off work, I was like, dude, I was so tired. I was like, there's no way I can possibly work out. But I brought my gym clothes, changed into my gym clothes, repping my unfazed review shirt. Check the link below, get the Red Bubble store, get yourself an unfazed review shirt. This one's pretty sweet. I got the old old school mannequins on it to represent dead malls, which are very popular on the channel. Um, but yeah, so I, I sucked it up and I was like, dude, you know what? I'm gonna be tough, I'm gonna go work out. And I did, and honestly, when I got there, I got my second wind, I felt awesome, and it was a really good workout. And uh, then afterwards, Sprouts was still open, classic Sprouts, right? Convenient as heck. And uh, I asked ChatGPT, I was like, hey, all-knowing ChatGPT, what should I have for dinner? And at first, I didn't like its recommendation. It was like salmon, da 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 I'm like, nah, give me something else. What's another recommendation? So it recommended rotisserie chicken. I'm still just holding this freaking chocolate. So I got myself a chicken corpse here. It is a uh, roasted chicken. Uh, it's like the garlic herb kind of chicken. Herb seasoned chicken, rotisserie chicken. Right here hanging out in the little chicken sauna. So I'll eat that when I get home. And I get some, uh, it said, Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. So I found a medley for $5.45 of sweet potatoes and such squash and Brussels sprouts. And then for tomorrow, because I know I'm gonna have leftover chicken, this is totally unrelated, but this will be for my lunch. I got some hibachi rice. I got this hibachi fried rice mix. And uh, I figured I could take some of the chicken, mix it up with this, bring it to work, and that's what I'll eat for lunch tomorrow. So, still going strong with just a little bit of temptation. I did get a Zevia too, you know, the Zevia. But zero calories, pretty good. But yeah, this was my weakness today, man. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some freaking chocolate peanut clusters and eat them and love them. They're so good. But, I mean, overall, I think it did pretty dang good, man. Yesterday, I, uh, I ate clean. I remember what I ate yesterday. Oh, I had um, pita, or not pita jungle. Cafe Zupas. I had Cafe Zupas, the Greek food. Pretty good. Overpriced, but very good. Very tasty. Convenient, you know. And then um, I said I was going to work out yesterday, but I was so freaking tired. I just went home. I did not work out. I got to be honest with you guys. So I worked out today. Twice as hard. Excuse me. Twice as hard to make up for it. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely on track to have that cheat meal and vlog it. I would just have to work out Tuesday morning to justify it. Then you'll also get a fast food vlog, most likely. So anyway, it's going good, powering through. The gym felt amazing. And the only advice I can give, besides getting chocolate peanut clusters, Emmett, don't eat these, they'll kill you. But besides eating these, um, when you're super tired, just show up to the gym. Just show up. Like literally, I was like in my car, like ready to fall asleep. Just like staring at my phone, thinking of any excuse not to go. But I was like, nah, dude, I have to go. I skipped the day before, I have to go. Once I got in there, once I warmed up a little bit, felt amazing. So definitely, definitely just show up and the rest happens. Even if it's not the best workout, at least you're there, you know? So anyway, good stuff. I got my little reward right here. This doesn't count as a cheat meal. This is just a little, just a little something, a little snack, you know? But anyway, I think I'm still doing pretty good, all things considered, all things considered. All right, day six, complete. Well, I mean, I gotta go home and make this and eat it and I'll insert some footage of that. But once that's done, day six, successful. guys week one is officially completed just about just about 
I told ChatGPT I was feeling some Mexican food, something high protein, something healthy. So it recommended a protein bowl with chicken. So I went to El Pollo Loco, which I haven't been to in like over a year, and I got a double chicken bowl with a little bit of avocado, a little bit of sour cream, some good yum yums in there. So very excited to eat that. Maybe with the sodium content at El Pollo Loco, it may not be the healthiest, but I'm sure it's healthier than going to McDonald's or something. I was bad and I got a Sprite. I will say this is the second soda I think I've had the entire week that's like a legit sugary soda uh, or high fructose corn syrup soda. Uh, when I was craving it before and I'd go to Sprouts, I'd get like a Zevia or something like that. So I was still getting that soda fix, but it was like healthy soda. But uh, you know what, it's the end of the week. I don't care. I'm gonna have some some Sprite, you know? But that being said, man, it's been going pretty well. I, I will say I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I feel like the first few days I felt like garbage just because I was like adapting. You know, I was so used to eating junk and I was adapting to this new diet. And uh, yeah, I felt terrible the first few days, but now I'm actually starting to feel good. I noticed at lunch today, I had my leftovers from the night before, the Greek chicken. I wasn't that hungry. Like when lunchtime rolled around, I just, wasn't that hungry. I don't know if it's just because I don't really like healthy food that much, but I was just like thinking more of food as fuel, which is probably a good thing. But um, I wasn't like ravenous like I am eating a burger or pizza or something like that. So I guess that's a good sign. I guess that's a good sign. But uh, yeah, it's going well. Um, it's, I would say, easier than I expected. It hasn't been horrific, but also I do have little things like this once in a while, so maybe that's helping. I will try to curtail the sugar intake moving forward for week two, week three, week four, and kind of ease off on this and, you know, kind of incorporate the soda more into the cheat meals. But I need something, man, or I'm going to go nuts, you know? But uh, I think overall, I've been pretty good. I would give myself an A for clean eating, definitely. It's not an A+. Plus. I would say an A compared to where I was, you know, last week and the week before. But yeah, it's been a success, man. I'm going to hit the gym after this. Thank you guys for watching and remain unfazed.